Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome or welcome back to Stars of Land Oracle YouTube channel, the Lucky Stars community. Capstar here, and we're going to take a look at what advice needs to come through for you, Aquarius, during this message. This is a timeless message, meaning no matter when you come across this message and it resonates with you, it is for you. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody, so please do take what is for you and leave it isn't for those of you liking and sharing the videos. Thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. I also want to give a huge shout out to all of the new and returning viewers and subscribers and to the channel members. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Also, remember, subscribe. Right down there, there's a button right down there. Hit that subscribe button. It does support the channel and uh, it is free, right? So it's a way that you can support the channel for free just as much as liking, sharing, subscribing. It helps the channel so, so much. It's really supportive and just so, so, so appreciated. Okay, let's see. Ooh, what three? Let's get three today. Ooh, there's two. Let's get one more. Let's get one more piece of advice for Aquarius for this reading here. One more. Ooh, are we going to get one more? Oh, it's too many. Too many. Just one, Spirit. Just one. All right. Well, we got two. So four was needed. And isn't that interesting that it is all four of the colors of this deck? Some came out sideways. Some came out uh, long ways. Isn't that interesting? It's interesting how things work out. Now it's going to be interesting to see if that's how they actually come up, but let's, let's check it out here. Let's go Aquarius. Let's check this out. Your first one was not, it goes this way. So it says, stay in the state, stay in a state of joyful expectations. Okay. So who, some of you, I just got like a heavy feeling with this Aquarius. Some of you are expecting the worst instead of expecting the best. Okay, joyful expectation. Look to the bright side. Look for what it is that you do want instead of paying attention to focusing on what you don't want. Okay, sometimes life can give us a whole ton of crud. Okay, or lemons, right? Instead of really, really having the sour face or the bitter face, right? Um, I'm seeing bitter beer face at commercial. Uh, although we're talking about lemons, that's what I'm seeing. But instead of having that bitterness and that, that, um, kind of um, looking for the worst, right? Or expecting the worst. Why not stay in a state of joyful expectation? How good can it get, Aquarius? How amazing could it turn out? How different could it be than what um, maybe has happened in the past? We tend to follow or stay in this idea or the state or this place of what we know, but life isn't always or doesn't always have to be repeating. Um, if we continue to look for what we've always got, we're going to get what we've always gotten, okay? But if we can move into or um, stay in a state, practice even a state of joyful expectation, even if we get just half a percent or one percent better each time, we are still creating a new kind of momentum, a new kind of movement within our life, within what comes in and what shows up, right? Um, even in those moments where things maybe don't turn out as we would hope that they would, we can see the silver lining. We can see a blessing. We have that power. We have the potential. We can shift. We can change our mind. And this is coming through with one of the other readings that I just did, of Christ. When we can stay in a joyful state of expectation or when we can really, really look towards the positive, the beautiful, the amazing, how wonderful your life always turns out, how perfect everything comes in, how things are always working out in your favor, then you can begin to notice that we get what we focus on, we get what we feed, we get what we pay attention to, Aquarius. So why not have joyful expectation and just plan? be ready for it and be excited for all the beautiful blessings, miracles, manifestations, wonderful energy, wonderful people uh, coming in or showing up or being a part of your life instead of all the other shit. Okay. I mean, it sounds really simple. Sometimes it can be difficult, but we can always practice it. We can use repetition. We can continue to um, remind ourselves. We can continue to move into that state. We can continue to choose again. Okay. That's again, coming through from a different reading we just did. The next one says you become who you believe you are. Holy. Oh, wow. This is that holy ish, 
holy shit moment right there, Aquarius, because it goes from one to the next one. You become who you believe you are. Louder for those in the back. You become who you believe you are. Be courageous when believing in yourself, Aquarius. I don't think that that has any more that needs to come through. Spirit's like, this This is it. Here you go. This. There's no more explanation, although we will expand a little bit. But you become who you believe you are. Be courageous when believing in yourself. Be courageous when believing in yourself. Brave, courageous, intelligent, ingenious, brilliant, beautiful, amazing, successful, kind, caring, warm, right? All of these words are words that can be associated with you, Aquarius. There's lots of other ones too, but be courageous when believing in yourself. You become who you believe you are. Do you believe right? The good things happen in that joyful expectation. Do you believe that you're a good person? Do you believe you're kind, you're brilliant, you're brave, you're ingenious, you have beautiful ideas, you're super creative, you can achieve anything, you can rise up, you can take your power back, you can always decide again, um, right? Do you believe all of that? Because you become who you believe you are. Do you believe that you have the unlimited potential that, you know, miracles, beautiful blessings, amazing people are always showing up in your life to support you, to love on you, to be, um, you know, a part of your tribe, a part of your community? Is that what you're believing? Do you believe that you can succeed? You can do anything. You can show up and you can conquer. Do you believe that? Do you believe that you have the power to create, to co-create, to really, really step into your life and to embrace, to achieve, to do, to be whatever it is that you choose? Do you? Because you become who you believe you are. Okay. Be courageous, Aquarius. Be courageous when believing in yourself. You are brave. You are courageous. You are caring. You are kind. You are loving. When you are believing in somebody else, if somebody's having a rough day, Aquarius, do you kind of show up and, and if someone you care about, someone you love, somebody you work with, somebody you know, right, right? And you can see or you know or you understand that they're having a rough day. Do you show up and, and lend them an ear? Do you, you know, hug or whatever it may be? Each person is specific, right? Um, do you attempt to be there for them? Do you do that for yourself? Okay. Be courageous when believing in yourself as well. Okay. Wow. This is powerful. I didn't expect it to be so powerful. Do one thing you are most afraid to do. That's where your growth lies. See, Aquarius, this, this advice, this message coming through <clears throat> is timely. It is meant for you to hear this um, because you get to step into being who you truly are. You get to step into the blessings, the miracles, the beauty, the manifestations, the your tribe, right? Um and sometimes it takes action. Sometimes when we are afraid to put ourselves out there or to um, expect joyful things or when we are afraid to maybe uh, talk to other people or to get out of a comfort zone or what have you, we can um, kind of move into the space of um, paralysis, right? Procrastination, um, almost even hiding from time to time. And so what's coming through here, Aquarius, is just about um, a challenge, right? We have the the better than yesterday cards. I happen to have them right here that we do the weekly challenge or I have been doing the weekly challenge with. Um, this is coming through as a challenge within this advice as well. Do one thing you are most afraid to do, not kind of afraid to do or not kind of leery to do, but most afraid to do. That's where your growth lies, okay? You have so much potential, Aquarius, and when you're hiding from it, when you're ducking from it, when you're staying away from it, when you're procrastinating, right, um, then sometimes that growth doesn't come through or the main growth, that big growth, those big growth like, leaps and bounds. That is what is, is working to come through for you, Aquarius. Um, but some of you are hiding from it. Some of you are um, not believing right? That you're capable to do it. That is the, that is where your growth lies. So do one thing you are most afraid to do. That's where your growth lies, Aquarius. That is a big, big challenge. 
Sometimes we have to really sit down and kind of write maybe a list of the things that we are um, hiding from or ducking from or pretending aren't there that, that really scare us that we know we know has the potential to really, really have that amazing growth, that amazing, um, you know, uh, potential for us, uh, that we're hiding from or that we're not doing. It it's going to take some honesty. It's going to take that courage, right? Be courageous in believing in yourself, Aquarius. This, this all goes hand in hand. Let's see what your last piece of advice. Oh my gosh. Whew. Just took my breath away. Just left me breathless. Always show up for yourself is your last one, Aquarius. Wow. This one is powerful. It's just, oh, it's almost like it knocked the wind out of me. Like left me breathless here, Aquarius. With these four pieces together and to end it here, always show up for yourself, Aquarius. Stay in that state of joyful expectation. Know that, that it can happen. It can come through for you. If not for you, then for who, Aquarius? If not for you, then for who, okay? Remember, you become who you believe you are. Show up for yourself. Be courageous when believing in yourself. You show courage for other people. You show up for other people. You're there, Aquarius. Be the courageous for be courageous when believing in yourself. Stay in joyful expectation. We tell people, um, you know, things can get better or this can happen or that can, whatever it may be specifically for you. Sometimes that's considered, you know, kind of blowing smoke up people's, you know what, or, or whatever. There's other words for it, but, um, you know, I don't always subscribe to that because, you know, um, reality is what reality is, but sometimes that reality sucks. And sometimes staying in that reality, um, doesn't benefit us, doesn't, uh, assist us, doesn't, right. It just kind of keeps us stuck in those patterns and those loops. And that's not, if they're not helpful, if they're non-beneficial, if they're not supportive, why would we want to stay there? Okay. Why would we want to, when we're shying away from things, right. Um, when we're not doing the things that most scare us or even just a little bit scare us, right. When we do things that scare us, Aquarius, we tend to have that growth. Um, I've said it before on this channel, but I had a friend way back in the day, tell me if it doesn't scare you, it's not worth doing. Okay. So if it doesn't scare you, if you're not afraid of it, it's not worth doing. Whether that's true for you or not, it's always been true for me. And I've always gone back to that all these years when something scares me or when I'm a little bit afraid or when I'm nervous or, or when I don't feel courageous or brave, um, then I remember that, right? That it, it's, it's probably not worth doing. And then on the other side, I sigh that, that breath of, of fresh air that I showed up for myself, that I did it even though, and guess what? Nine times out of 10, probably 9.9 .9 times out of 10, it turns out beautifully. And on the other side, I am so excited that I did it, that I stayed in that joyful expectation in those moments that I believe in myself. And that is the biggest thing you believe yourself. Okay. You believe who you, you become who you believe you are. Right. So of course, this is so important. Always show up for yourself. Think of all the people that you show up for. Are you at the very, very top of that list of the people that you show up for? Are you doing all of these things? Are you feeling like each and every day your breath is being taken away in the most joyful, peaceful, beautiful, wonderful ways? Okay. Life is meant to live a Christ and that's what's coming through here in this powerful message. Okay. That you are amazing. You're beautiful. You're so wonderful. Always show up for yourself. Okay. Put yourself on the top of the list, Aquarius. You, there's lots of people you show up for that you maybe even spread yourself a little thin for. Make sure that if you're going to do that, that you're also showing up for yourself, that you are right at the top of the list. Okay. This one's so powerful, Aquarius. Don't miss this one because this one, whew, this one left me breathless, took my breath away. Gorgeous. All right. I do intend this resonated with you and for you. If it did, please do hit the like button and share this video. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. Also feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. It is free for you to subscribe to. Oh, I'm going to read the bottom one. I'm just going to read it. It didn't come out, but it just goes right with it. It says you are always as lucky or unlucky as you think you are. Pow, right there mic drop. Okay. Um, 
mic drop. This, this is not one, but look, this just summed it all up right there. You are always as lucky or unlucky as you think you are. Goes right on with this, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna start that spill again. I do intend that this resonated with you and for you. If it did, please do hit the like button and share this video. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. Also feel free to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe right down there and the bell icon. So you're notified every time I upload new readings, it is free for you to subscribe. It is a wonderful free way that you can support the channel, help the channel grow, the Lucky Stars community to grow. Um, you can like the videos, you can share the videos, all of that is free and it really, really, really helps. Liking, sharing, subscribing. It helps to get the channel out there. It helps to get the messages out there. It helps to get the videos out there so that more people are able to receive them. And isn't that, isn't that, you know, uh, a blessing right there in and of itself? I, I think it is. All right. Also hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. As always, I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love. Take this to heart, right? You use this advice. Let it benefit you. Let it assist you. Let it help you grow. Let it help you expand, Aquarius. Use it, use it, use it, okay? All right. I can't remember if I said, as always, I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love. I keep talking and talking and talking. Wow. Um, with all of your current and future endeavors, I'll see you in the next reading.